Welcome to Mudbox. Over the next few videos here, I want to show you guys some of the things that you're going to need to know to get up and running and producing quality work inside Mudbox very quickly. Um, in this first video, I want to introduce to you the general interface and give you a slight overview of what you're going to be looking at when you first get into Mudbox. Mudbox's interface is split into three primary regions. In the center, we've got our work area, our 3D viewport, and off to the right, we've got our object and tool properties. We have two tabs there. One is a layers tab, and the other one is the properties tab. Both of those menus are context sensitive, which means that they will display the appropriate information for whichever tool or object is active at the time. There's also an object list there, so you can see an outline of the objects and other nodes that are in your scene. Uh, everything's there from cameras to lights to shaders. At the bottom, you will find all of your tools that you're going to need to work with uh, inside of Mudbox, all of your brush tools and things to do with the brush. So we've got, on the left, we've got our sculpting tools, we've got our selection tools, we've got our value paint tools. And we'll go more into each one of these tabs as we go through the rest of the videos here. On the right, we have our falloffs for controlling the tips of the brush, or the shapes of the tip of the brush. We've got the stamps, which are additional, give additional texture to the tip of the brush. And we have our stencils menu, which act like a, an, an image mask uh, that you can use with your brushes in the scene. I'll just click on one here to show you what a stencil would look like on the screen. So brushing on that would actually give you uh, additional details based on the stencil image.